Okay, so I have a few announcements to make about Instagram. Hey, booze. And this is important. This is very important. Let me go on Twitter and tell them that I'm on live. Hold on. Hey, everyone. Okay, I have a big, huge announcement that I have to say because... I cannot get on Queen Radio until a few more days. And so, well, I have to say something about Instagram. So basically, no. Instagram is about to take away everyone's likes simply because this. Simply because they don't want you to go off on the side, forming all sorts of businesses and being able to say, you know, I get this amount of likes and charging brands. They want you to have to pay them. See, if you pay them, then that's why we have all these sponsored Instagram posts. And that's why we changed up not having Instagram posts in chronological order. Remember they did that first? So they had to shuffle it real quick to let you know you ain't the boss. And now that is why. So you guys that build your businesses by saying, hey, this is the amount of likes I get. Now those companies will have to go instead of going to you. And they will have to go and pay Instagram so they can have an, a, a post that says sponsored. They can have advertisement and they're paying for that now instead of to you, to Instagram. And so we have to start looking at as a community... Thank you, Kels, because this is some real ass shit. We have to start looking as, at what we do as a community and think about ultimately whose pocket is this money finna go into? Now, and is Instagram wrong for that? They're thinking to themselves, oh, well, I'm giving you bitches all of this access on my shit and y'all ain't got to pay a dime and y'all could just make yourselves famous and the record labels don't have all the power anymore and this one don't got all the power and that one don't got all the power. And so you, when you take away a person who is just ambitious and who wants to create their own businesses, to me that would be like going in the in the neighborhood and, and, and selling all the mom and pop shops that they can't set up shop. I mean, so should mom and pops shops, you know what I mean? It's no different. It's like the government taxing, like, okay, boom, y'all, you getting all this money. We want, we want half of it. You ain't going to be getting rich on my watch. You influencers ain't going to be making money on my watch and not giving me a percentage. That's what all of these things are. Record companies, streaming services, all of them. They're all in cahoots together and they get the biggest chunk of our money. But y'all ain't ready for that conversation because y'all too busy still thinking rappers are rich. And that people y'all don't know aren't rich. <laughs> Drop a bomb on that one. Psh. Um, Shekinah says, but IG already makes a lot of money anyway. But that's the thing. 
What do everybody that have a lot of money, what do they do all day? Try to get more. Only in our culture do we get a dime and be happy with it and go to the corner store and get five cents worth of candy and a dollar and, 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 and a penny uh, dollar candy and be and be good with four pennies in our pockets and then go and, 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 and borrow some jewelry and act like we own it. These people are will not stop figuring out ways how to get richer. They don't be satisfied with being rich, and that's the problem. We be satisfied with being rich. They don't. So that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying it's like taking away the little, the little, you know, whatever it is from the mom and pop shops on the block. But let's see. If it's for self-esteem, who's self-esteem? Do not say something is for self-esteem when it's for pocketing more money. Do not use those terms. So my thing is... Uh, don't be telling me, okay, relax, but the boy. What's, that, what's your name? Oh, Daily Yaz, you're a 28. Don't be telling me to relax. I just took a break and I wanted to holler at my fans. Anybody tell you to come on my live? So, y'all, that's my two cents for the day. And, um, yes, there are bigger... Well, I have to get get back onto Queen Radio. You guys already know that. So, in a few days, I see y'all. And thank you for supporting Tusa. And shout out to Carol G and everybody in Colombia. Um, ¿Qué pasa contigo? So, you guys, just remember, ask questions. I just want some answers to my questions. Don't you? That's all my fans do all day is ask me a bunch of questions. Mi amor, te amo. Hi, Carol G. Hi, Carol G. My honey, my baby, my cute little ladybug. Um, And you guys, yes, Carol G in person she was just as sweet and when i'm on the next queen radio i'll be able to speak to her and you guys will get to know a little bit more about her but very genuine very sweet very down to earth very real very authentic very beautiful personality and i just broke my nail um and that's another thing nail techs please stop doing thin nails it's 2020 bitches is out here doing a lot Okay. Um, but anyway, so you guys love you so much, all right? Bye.